All right, lads, Chiland here, back again with another episode of Career Developments. And this week we're doing Jonathan Lecco, who is a youngster at West Brom who's coming through the ranks pretty quickly. Should we check his current profile? So he's currently 17 years of age, good English young talent coming on here, current ability two stars, potential ability of four to five stars, so pretty decent, dribbling is looking very tasty at 15 already, his base stats are looking very nice, his mentals are looking like a good foundation and his physicals are looking very very decent at the age of 17 anyway, good physical player, can play on both wings and as a striker as well. So let's skip ahead three years and see where he's at. So three years on at the age of 20, he's looking very decent indeed. He's got a current ability of three and a half stars and his potential ability is three and a half to four and a half stars. Well, those physicals just look absolutely sublime, don't they? 18 acceleration, 17 pace, 15 strength, 14 jump and reach. They're all in the greens. His dribbling's quality, 17 dribbling. And yeah, he's just looking like an overall beast, really. Anyway, first season, he had seven appearances for West Brom, scoring one goal with a 6.56 average rating, so not the best. But to give him more game time, they sent him out on loan to Swansea in the championship. He gained 17 appearances there, scoring three goals with a 6.56 average rating again. And then the next season after that, he came back to West Brom in the Premier League. 10 appearances, two goals and a 6.8 average rating. So he's not really established himself yet, but he's, he's getting there. Let's go to 2022 and see if he's gained any more playing time. Well then, at the age of 23, he's at Paris Saint-Germain. His physical's looking brilliant as ever. Mental's looking okay. Determination and flares are pretty decent. Still got that 17 dribbling. Finishing has gone down a little bit, but you know, let's see his playing time. First season at West Brom, 27 appearances, three goals, a 6.68 average rating. Next season again at West Brom, 21 appearances, 2 goals, 1 assist and a 6.51 average rating. And then he got his £20 million move to PSG in Ligue 1. First season there, only got 3 appearances with a 6.6 .6 average rating in the first team. But he played quite a bit for the reserves, 42 appearances, 8 goals, 6 assists. We'll see if he does get any more game time at PSG in the next 3 years. Well, three years on, he's not a PSG anymore, but he stayed in Ligue 1 and joined Lyon. Pace and acceleration have decreased slightly, strength and jump and reach have gone up though, so he's looking a very, very beastly player. Mentals and technicals looking pretty similar there. Second season at PSG, gained a little bit more first team football, 15 appearances, one goal, two assists and a 6.75 average rating but did feature a lot for the reserve team with 21 appearances, four goals, three assists, and three player of the match appearances with a 7.20 average rating. And his third and final season at PSG, 18 appearances, two goals, 10 assists, so pretty good, and a 7.34 average rating, which is pretty respectable really, which gained him an 11.5 million pound move to Lyon, where he gained 34 appearances, four goals, three assists, one player of the match appearance, and a 7.06 average rating in his first season there. Gained eight caps for England already at the age of 26, so yeah, it's looking pretty decent. And in 2028, he's back in England at West Ham. Physical's looking pretty similar. Technicals have increased a bit. His finishing's definitely increased. And in terms of playing time, second season at Lyon, 27 appearances, 3 goals, 4 assists, 1 player of the match appearance with a 7.11 average rating, which then gave him a move to the Premier League, 
for £33.5 million to West Ham. His first season there, 36 appearances, 6 goals, 10 assists and 1 player of the match appearance with a 7.03 average rating. So yeah, he's really established himself in the Premier League there. Second season at West Ham, 16 appearances, 2 goals, 0 assists with a 6.62 average rating. So he has declined in form a little bit. But he's really established himself as an England player, 29 caps and 6 goals for England. So let's simulate the last three seasons of us following his career and see where he actually ends up. And for the final roundup of his career, he's actually stayed at West Ham. His, his stats haven't really declined that much. They're looking pretty decent still at the age of 32. So first season of this last three, 30 appearances, five goals, five assists, one player of the match appearance with a 6.98 average rating. The next season, another 30 appearances, eight goals, three assists, three player of the match appearances with a 6.89 average rating, so not bad. And third and final season, 23 appearances, 4 goals, 4 assists, 1 player of the match appearance with a 6.81 average rating. Let's see what he's actually achieved in his career so far. So he actually won the World Cup with England in 2026, won the EFL Cup with West Ham in 2028, Won the Euros with England in 2028, Community Shield in 2028, FA Cup in 2029, and the Confederations Cup with England in 2029 as well. So he's he's got he's got a bit of silverware under his belt to be honest. So overall, it was a really good career for Jonathan. Well, thank you for watching the video. If you have anyone to suggest that I follow, then just pop a comment down below, and I will probably do them. I've got a massive list to go through, so. Yeah, you might have to wait for it if you comment now. Cheers, and I'll see you next week with another one of these things. Well, thank you for watching the video. I'm going to teach you how to be a lad now in two simple steps. Step one, like the video. You know, the little thumbs up thing down below. Yeah, do that. And step two, subscribe to the bloody channel, please. And after those two steps are complete, you are now 100% a lad.